So you've made your character and now you want to fight. Well, you've clicked on the right video because I'm going to show you exactly how to set up battles. And if you love RPG game development, tips, tricks and tutorials, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever I drop a hot new video. First, what we're going to do is go over to the game definition section and for the main cast, what we're going to do is change level at to Arkansas, the guy we made in our last video. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this. If you want the enemy to be visible on the map, you can go over into the events section, down into enemy cast, click on slime and place him on the map. Now, at the moment, he does nothing because we haven't told him to do anything. We're gonna double click and we're just gonna hit this plus button here. Over on the right hand side under categories, you wanna select battles and then execute battle and check results. Now it automatically defaults to this pirate here, so we're just gonna double click on that and change it from the pirate to the slime. Then you've got this option over here for placement. It's going to ask where in this grid do you wanna place the enemy? At the moment, the enemy's placed in the middle of this bush here, so we're just gonna bring him forward. If you want, you can also move around your characters and how they're placed, but we're just gonna leave that as standard for now and hit OK. Now for background music, you can maintain the current theme that's playing, but we don't want that, we want a battle theme. So, we're going to click on this, sound, BGM. And so, Arkansas came across the slime of legends, the gambler. The man who took his spells. Alright, enough of that. We're gonna make this fight inescapable. Um, you could just click that so they can escape, but nah. You can also say no game over, even if defeated. We're also gonna say no. And you can also click no monster appearance message, which means at the start of the battle it won't say one slime and two skeletons have appeared. Now, we can also test this battle by clicking that button there. We can choose who's in the party. At the moment, it's Arkansas level 99. We'll just have him at level one. And now we've got a battle. If we just hit attack, it deals five HP. The slime is surveying the situation. We'll just keep attacking. The slime is surveying the situation. And this could go on and on. The slime at the moment's a bit boring. So let's change that up. What we're going to do is just hit apply for this event right here and head over to the database. We're gonna look at the slime, tab over to battles, and as you can see, this slime has no skills. So what we're gonna do is add a battle action. The conditions are none, because there are no conditions for this attack. We're also gonna change a few things here, like when it's defeated, it'll give 50 experience points. Let's give him another attack. This time it'll be use skill, fire and it's going to use this skill when the current HP for this monster is at 50%. Arkansas attacks, the slime attacks. Now the slime is doing zero damage at the moment because we haven't really balanced the numbers. We'll just increase the power some more. Let's try and raise that to 50 and see if that does any extra damage. There we go. Now that we've upped the attack power of the slime, it's doing a lot more damage to Arkansas. Now at the moment, you'd be able to walk up to this slime and keep battling it over and over again. So to end that loop, all we're going to do is add sheet condition event switch. We're gonna call this event switch slime underscore controller one and hit okay. And if slime, and if slime controller is off, then it will play this. At the end of this, what we're going to do is toggle the switch on. And that way, after the fight, this slime's going to disappear. But what if you don't want the enemies to appear on the map? What if you want random battles as you walk through the map? Well, you can click on map settings, head over to enemy distribution, and add some monsters to your map. So we're gonna add the slime. We're also going to add the thief. We're just going to test this out to see how that goes. Now instead of talking to this slime, I'm just going to run around. There we go, we've encountered a battle with two thieves. Actually, it's three thieves. What the balls? 
Ah, because the thieves would have the assassinate skill. But that's how you make random battles. But level up, there was no music. Well, all you need to do is under select enemy distribution properties, right down where it says BMG, click this and select your battle music. You can also select the cast placement and you can drag around where the battle actually takes place on the map itself. There is the minimum number of steps for an encounter and the maximum number, so we'll make the minimum 20 and the maximum 50. You can change how many enemies appear at maximum, so we can change that to two. If we go over back to the database editor, you can see just like the characters, we can equip these enemies with different weapons. So let's say we wanted the slime to have a knife. There we go. Now the slime is equipped with a knife. There's a lot more you can do with battles, but this is all we really need to cover in the beginning tutorial. Join me in the next video where we go over making weapons and items.